And that is how I earned almost $2,000 in one day with Pinterest affiliate marketing. This is a screenshot from my PayPal account. This is from late November of 2023. And it shows I made about almost $2,000 in one day from this exact method and strategy that I'm gonna show you. Step one is to come over here to pinterest.com and create your account. So once you get onto Pinterest, you're gonna go in the top right corner and click on the sign up button. You can create your account with any email address you like or also with Facebook or Google. And once you log in with your account, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you add some sort of a logo and also a banner image to your account just to make it look more professional. And next, it's time to find out what is already working. What I like to do is go up to the search bar up here and you can type in your niche. So what your niche is, is your interest. The one thing that you can notice is that a lot of these images, they're really, really high res and they look really professional. And there's very little text. Some of them contain text, but uh, most of them don't. So there's two websites that I love to go to that is royalty and commercial free images. So the first one is unsplash.com and the second one is gonna be pexels.com. We're in the hiking camping niche. So let's search for the word tent. You want something high res, something a lot of color, and something that's really eye catching. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here and we're gonna select download. And I like to do original size just so we can play with it in Canva. So we're gonna download it here. And if you didn't find anything that you liked on Unsplash, you can run over here to pexels.com and you can type in the same thing. Now we're gonna move over to Canva because we wanna build our Pinterest pin. When we click on Canva, what we're gonna do is at the very top, we can click up here, we can type in Pinterest. And Pinterest pin is gonna be one of the templates here. We're trying to make it as minimalist as possible and as clear and crisp. We're gonna create a blank Pinterest pin. So once you click on blank Pinterest pin, what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload our image that we just downloaded. So click on uploads, click on upload files, and we're gonna click on the image and it's gonna bring it in here. Once you have your Pinterest pin template created, it's really up to you if you wanna put some text on there. So what I'd like to do is I like to go through and I like to see the other pins. We wanna do something like this to where we have an image and it creates curiosity. You wanna make a really engaging title and a really engaging description to really have somebody think about, hey, I really need to click on this link and see this product. Next, we wanna go over to Amazon and we wanna go start searching for a tent that resembles the image that we used. So let's go back over to Canva real quick, take a look. So it's a white tent that has a little curve into it. So if we go over here to Amazon and we search for tent, this is one that I found that it doesn't look exact, but it's white and it has a little bit of curve. Um, so once you have a product that you want to link to as your affiliate link, um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up here to get link and you're going to click on text. And I always like to use a short link. Now we're going to create our pin. So let's go back over here to Canva and we're going to name our pin something. We can just name it something like Pinterest pin for now. And then we're going to click on share and then click on download and then download the file. Now that we have our Pinterest pin downloaded, we're going to come back over here to Pinterest, click on the menu over here in the top left corner, and we're going to click on create pin. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to upload the file. So click over here and go to where your Pinterest pin image is, click on OK, and now it has imported our file. So now we're going to work on a title. So we need to have something that's really, really engaging and a description to go along with it. If you're having trouble coming up with a title, don't worry, you're not alone. I'm the same. So I like to use ChatGPT to give me some ideas and kind of spark a little bit of a brainstorming session. So I'm gonna to go to ChatGPT here and I'm going to say, write 10 Pinterest titles that would persuade me to buy a tent. So let's see what ChatGPT has to offer. And you can go through these and you can see if something sparks some interest or you think it would make a good title. I really like this one. Sleep Under the Stars, unveil our luxurious tent selection for stargazers. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna go back over to Pinterest. So we're just gonna paste that into the title. So next up, we are going to come up with a description. Write a short, compelling description why I should buy this tent. You want something that's gonna bring value and be a, a benefit to somebody reading this to really entice them to click on the pin. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the link. So we need to go back over here to Amazon. And remember this link that we talked about a little earlier in the video. So we're gonna copy this link. We're gonna highlight it, click on copy. 
go back to your pin and we're going to paste your link here. So this is our affiliate link. So at any time that somebody clicks on our pin, that's step one. So step two would be if they click the image, it sends us directly out and it goes back, it routes back to this tent. So if somebody were to purchase this tent or anything that they have in their cart for 24 hours, you get a cut of it. So you get a commission. That's why I love Amazon affiliate marketing. If you guys are liking this video, do me a favor, drop a comment down below and let me know, have you tried affiliate marketing? If you would, please drop a like, that would be awesome. That would greatly help out the channel. Now it's time to finish up our pins so we can actually post it. So we're gonna go down and you can select whatever board that you want. Don't forget to type in your topics. So for example, we can type in a tent. This just helps Pinterest push it out and be able to target the right people. So once you are satisfied with all that, you're gonna hit publish and your pin is about to be live. So now once you publish your pin, you can see it as the very top pin. So right here, this is a pin that we just created. So we're gonna click on your pin and it's gonna show us everything. So it's gonna list impressions, which means how many times it's being pushed in front of uh, people. Uh, pin clicks, obviously, is how many times that somebody clicks on it. Uh, saves is how many times somebody saves it to one of their boards. So as you can see, this has the Amazon link that we that we put in here. So this is the Amazon affiliate link. So if somebody were to click this, it would go right to the tent and then it doesn't even matter. They don't even have to purchase the tent. All the goal is for us, what we're trying to do is get them to get to Amazon. So anything that they have in their cart, their shopping cart, either existing or new, we're gonna get a cut of, you will make a cut of for 24 hours, whatever they purchase. So we have our title, we have our description, which is great. And then people can add comments and that is how you publish a pin within Pinterest for Pinterest affiliate marketing. If you want to learn more about affiliate marketing, specifically Amazon affiliate marketing, make sure to watch this video up here. It's going to teach you how to make $700 a week or more on Amazon.